Hello, today we are going to discuss uh, a book written by a very famous philosopher Thomas Nagel. He has come out with this small booklet on what does it all mean. Now, it is a small booklet in the sense that it has got only 100 pages. In this book, he has raised or he not raised, but he has discussed certain things which are fundamental to philosophy. He pointed out nine questions that are fundamental in his opinion for the study of philosophy. Let me first name them and then we will start discussing at least one of them. He says that the one of the first question that is important in philosophy is how do we know anything? Second is other minds in the sense that we know from our mind, from our senses, but how do we know that the what others are thinking and whether others exist or not? And if they exist, then what are their way of knowing the world? Then the third question is mind body problem, whether body is can be separated from mind and vice versa, is it possible or not. Then the meaning of words, which means we use language, we use words, how do these words which we use depict reality, why do we call a cow a cow and why an impression of cow when we use the word, how do we have a picture of cow that really exists? So, what is the connection between reality and word or in other words, what is language, how it evolves? Then come the question of free will, whether we are free to choose anything. Sometimes we say that, uh, well, I have must, I should have chosen that one. Like for instance, if we are purchasing an ice cream after eating that ice cream, after coming to home, then sometimes we say, oh, we, we could have chosen the other flavor. Is it really possible to exercise our free will in choosing things or not? That is a very important question. Then the next question is, what is right and what is wrong? We know from general impression that in life, what is right and what is wrong? Theft is wrong. Violence is wrong. But why they are wrong? Who says this? Who decided that violence is wrong or theft is wrong or lying is wrong, untruth is wrong? So this is a very important fundamental question in philosophy. How to make a distinction between right and wrong and on what basis? Then comes the question of justice. We have a sense of justice as John Rawls has put it that we have a Everybody has a sense of justice. We come to know when injustice is being served to us. But then what is the criteria of justice? Who is just and who is not? Whether it is our responsibility to correct injustice. For instance, some people are born in rich family, some are born in poor family. Now is it our um, duty to correct this differentiation or not? What is the measure by which we can do it? And if we do it, then whether it is justice for all or it is justice for only those who are marginalized. So there are many questions which are interacted in this type of uh, problem. Then comes the perennial question that is of death. Do we think that death is something we should discuss or death ends everything or can we talk beyond death or should we talk beyond death? Because if death is the, f the last culmination of our life, then why do people want to be remembered after death? Do they feel that after death there is something which they can observe, they can feel, they can see that what is happening with my name at least or what I have done during my lifetime which passes through generations which really exist after my death or not. Then the last the question is which is 
a summation of all these points the meaning of life do we have a meaning do we strive for something which we are supposed to do or it is just arbitrary arbitrary things and which means that whether the life is has some meaning and we have to find it out whether the meaning is imposed on us by someone like god or we have to find or create our own meaning in life these are the nine questions that this great philosopher thomas nagel has raised now we can take questions one by one and i will try to take them one by one with his own views as well as views of others because he has given in such a small text he has just written about his own view about these things very general observation about these problems so this is my introductory lecture on this book uh, later on we will if possible we will deal all these problems in some detail thank you